Hi children, in this video we learn about types of bacteria. What we learn exactly in this video? Types of bacteria like uh, Archibacteria, Eubacteria, Heterotrophic Bacteria, Reproduction Bacteria and Mycoplasma. These are the different topics we learn in this video. Archibacteria, Extremophiles. These are special type because they live in most harsh habitats. Based on uh, their living conditions, they called halophiles. They live in extremely salt areas. Dermoacidophiles, hot springs, methanogens, marshy areas. This definitely we need to remember for examination point of view, for both competitive exams and uh, your uh, uh, public exams because they will give in the bit form and they live in extreme conditions that's why they called extremophiles archibacteria is also called extremophiles why because they live in extreme conditions what are the extreme conditions salty areas hot springs marshy areas based on these conditions they give different names like halophiles dermoacidophiles and methanogens okay why they, they can live in extreme conditions? Because of having a different cell wall. And compared to others, these having a different kind of cell wall. That's why they live in extreme conditions. That's why they are called extremophiles. And methanogens. Methanogens, they are present in the gut of ruminant animals. Like cows, buffaloes, gut. Because of the presence of these bacteria, methanogens, these bacteria are responsible for production of methane, biogas, methane or biogas. From the dung of these animals like cows, buffaloes, we can generate biogas, methane, because of the presence of methanogens. You may get a application oriented question. How to, why? We can make biogas from the uh, dung of the cows. You have to write like because of the presence of methanogens, that is a bacteria. And you bacteria, these are called true bacteria. This characteristic is rigid cell wall is present. This is the important characteristic. And if they are motile, even flagellum also present. These are the two characteristics of the U bacteria. One is rigid cell wall and one is flagellum if they are motile. One example is cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria is a blue green algae. Contains chlorophyll like green plants. If chlorophyll is there, they can be photosynthetic. Means they can make their own food material. So the, hence they are called photosynthetic autotrophs. What is the bacteria name? Cyanobacteria blue green algae blue green name itself indicates green because of the presence of chlorophyll chlorophyll is the indication of uh, greenness okay like green plants hence they can they are called photosynthetic autotrophs that is cyanobacteria and nostoc example is one example is nostoc that is a, a filamentous blue green algae a filamentous blue green algae this is the diagram just you can draw it like a elongated circle like this like this like this you just you extend like then you keep this small particles then you keep like a membrane gelatinous membrane that is how you need to draw and in, here and there you have to keep these uh, heterocysts, heterocysts like this. That is how you need to draw in your exams, other to remember very easily. Okay, so these are called mucilaginous sheath. They will have mucilaginous sheath on top uh, and heterocyst useful for atmospheric nitrogen fixation. Example, Nasdaq anabina. Example is uh, Nasdaq anabina. These the two are very, very important. You need to remember for your exams. Mucilaginous sheath, gelatinous sheath. You need to remember this diagram. Next one is 
chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria chemosynthetic means something related to chemical nature chemical chemical means oxidization reduction this kind of activities reactions that's why chemosynthetic autotrophic means they can generate their own food material that's why auto means self trophic and bacteria so these do oxidize various inorganic substances inorganic substances like nitrates nitrites ammonia these materials are oxidized when oxidization they will release the energy and helps in the production of atp okay they play a great role in recycling nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus iron and sulfur you will get a question like uh, which bacteria play a major role in recycling nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus iron and sulfur you need to write it like a chem chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria they help in the production of atp through oxidization either you will get bit based on this based on this based on this and what are the inorganic substances either this one nitrates nitrites and ammonia and heterotrophic bacteria these are most abundant in nature heterotrophic they are decomposers this is very very important term you need to keep in mind which bacteria acts as a decomposer heterotrophic bacteria because of this nature they play an important role in human affairs like uh, you can get curd from the milk the production of antibiotics nitrogen fixation in legume roots these are the things play heterotrophic bacteria you need to remember that word heterotrophic bacteria they are decomposers and uh, these heterotrophic bacteria even a uh, uh, lot of diseases typhoid kind of thing uh, there are so they transmit lot of diseases also and reproduction in bacteria mainly through fission okay dividing bacterium like uh, it divides here you need to draw very easily like this like this and uh, it is genetic material genetic material and uh, nucleoplasm whatever this one and uh, try to draw a membrane it's very very easy this is called cell wall this is genetic material this is cell membrane this is a cell membrane it divides here dna this is a dna ba reproduction in bacteria is mainly through fission sometimes spores also through spores it reproduces through spores in favorable conditions sometimes dna transfer from bacteria to bacteria dna, DNA transfer also happen these are the three types of uh, reproduction in bacteria one is fission through spores and through direct dna transfer and next one is mycoplasma mycoplasma is no cell wall cell wall is not present and the smallest living cell known these are the smallest living cells survive without oxygen no cell wall very small no cell wall smallest without oxygen they can live many micro many many my, mycoplasma are pathogenic in animals and plants pathogenic means they create diseases in plants and animals so we have to study about mycoplasma to generate uh, different kinds of uh, protection preventive measures protection how to uh, control them that's the reason we are going to study about mycoplasma this is all about uh, different types of bacteria autotrophic bacteria heterotrophic bacteria and in heterotrophic different kinds of uh, other uh, uh, organism no, you have studied uh, no stock and all those things okay see this one you need to remember all these uh, things thank you so much please subscribe to the channel